Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the, what is this? The Dow's only down 21? Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Dow Industrial is down 70, NASDAQ is down 324, S&P is down 49, gold contract up $15, trading at 1869 an ounce. We got silver up 33 cents, $22.05 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $110.14 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note up 25 ticks, trading 120.12. The 30 year up a full point, plus 19 ticks at 141. 30 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 287 ticks, trading 101. 790. The euro is out here at a price point of 107. The yen is at 126.78. And the British pound is at 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we bring up the spy. This is going to get really intriguing out here, folks, and this is why. So you hear me talk about building cars a lot, right? Well, what happens is this. So right now, the SPY's down 5 bucks, right? You're trading at 391 You trade as low as 386 You can see the volume is contracting. This has gone after its lows too fast. So the energy is dissipating out of the market. Selling energy, period. Uh, this is going to get interesting, man, because this is telling me, you know, we got a confirmed ABC structure down and the SPY. But the way this is trading right now, this is telling me it's going to bounce first. Um, because, the, so watch. Your first day down, let's see, 12th of May, right? You get 125 million shares. Now, granted, then we went up. We went up with 83, and we came back down. We broke it. We broke it 131. That's your ABC structure on the way down. That's your price projection, 364. Okay, great. You go up yesterday. We go up yesterday with 76. Now, what's happening is that it, this, to me, is it was trying to get the lower price today, and it's rejecting lower price. So that's telling me that you're going to try to bounce. And I suspect, well, let, let's go to the queues first, because I can show you how this thing shakes out. So if you take a look at the queues, what you're going to see now, the queues, number one, did not have the volume when we broke the B point on Friday. You know, the, the, the B point on Friday was 284. You had volume of 120 million shares. We came down and we did 91 million. Now, we, what happened yesterday, yesterday we went up with 63. Now watch this though. So the low of Friday was 280.21. Well, I know the NASDAQ has got smoked here, folks, okay? But the reality is it only went down to 282.25. You're at 285, and you're gonna have a contraction of volume. And when you, what I've, what I've found is this: when you come back down too quick, which you know, this my take is that you know, if you listen to me yesterday, that I thought we we're gonna build cars all week long, going sideways. Okay, nothing heavy. And when I say going sideways, sideways means like side, sideways plus a little up, little down, nothing heavy. This market tried to get down today, it dissipated its energy. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. If we go into the NDX 100 and we take a look at it, now the, the, the close is gonna be crucial out here today. There's no doubt about that because it's gotta basically, right now the futures are down 317. So let's take a look at this for a second. Okay, so, okay, 10 o'clock, that's a bummer. Yeah, okay. Thought I could give you some decent news, but not really. So this uh, this high that's a high volume low at ten o'clock, man. Yeah. So what we're gonna have here, I think, is this. You're probably gonna have you're gonna close at lows, it's gonna be light volume, which that is actually dangerous. Because what happens is that when there's no buyers, 
and you're at light volume, it, it's, it, it, it lays up that you can go much lower. This is going to be a wild close. You know, because when I first started talking about the S&P in the queues right now, my take was actually, let me go look at the S&P. My take was actually that you, you would basically reject lower price, but just pulling up the NQs, that's a high volume low that wants to get tested. So that's not cool, because if we finished at the lows, it would be a real problem, man. And so in the S&Ps, yeah, see, the S&Ps are different, man. The S&Ps, that's 10 o'clock, and yeah, it's 10 o'clock. The S&P, see, the, the difference was the, the, the SPY actually tested its low, and it had light of volume. So that's telling me this close is not going to be cool again. Unreal. Gold. Gold contract out here also needs volume. You can, you can see when you're looking at the gold contract that it's like, really, you're up $16. And gold's going to hold price today. That's what it looks like. But you only have 68,000 contracts traded. What should happen is that the, you're up $16. The gold contract should be doing about 190,000 contracts. You know, big numbers. If we go over to the dollar and we take a look at the dollar, dollar has followed through in the downside. Bottom line, down 291 ticks. You're at 101.784. Um, this, this basically sets up, uh, you know, longer term. You have the dollar, you know, I don't know, two or three months, you're down at 95. Uh, bottom line, on a longer term basis, we've been in this consolidation since 2015. The bottom of the consolidation is approximately 22. I mean, 82. The top is 103. Bottom line, couldn't bust them up. Guess what? Going to try to bust them down. Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 77. NASDAQ is off 329. S&P's off 50. Come right back, folks.